We're at 6,000 feet in the Swan Range. Our bulletins have been warning about a deep slab problem. What you have here, you can see all the way down here, our Thanksgiving crust, about 120 centimeters deep. We've got a one finger hard slab all the way down to our weak layer, which is about four fingers and fasting. So we're seeing at least this layer is starting to harden and center here, but it's not. Um, it's certainly still a weak layer, so we're going to test it in our um, stability test here. We did a uh, isolate a propagation saw test. Right there. So you can see it, um, the slab propagated before we got halfway across the block. So this is still, the result here shows that there is still potential for propagation on this layer. What that means, it is a really stout slab It'll be pretty hard to trigger from the surface. Um, we're going to be worried about these during big loading events, during big warm-ups, where we may be able to um, get natural failures on these types of avalanches. And then also we're worried about areas where this slab may thin down in spots where you may be able to impact this layer near rock outcrops, that sort of thing. Deep slabs are by far the hardest avalanche problem to assess when we're in the field and really to forecast for as well. Um, we don't get very good feedback and it comes in small doses when it does. So the best way to handle uncertainty, if you're ever in doubt of the snowpack structure, is to default to moderate or low angled terrain.